Welcome to LearnText Zoom Whiteboard series. Today we're exploring a key feature of the Zoom Whiteboard. How to access your Whiteboard library without being in a live Zoom call. The Zoom Whiteboard is a versatile tool that lets you collaborate, engage, and learn actively. It's an endless virtual space for all your Whiteboard creations. You can access, edit, and share your Whiteboards anytime even when you're not in a live Zoom meeting. Now let's examine the two primary methods for accessing your Whiteboard library. For those of you accessing Zoom through your computer, whether it is a Mac or a Windows, the process is fairly simple. Locate your Zoom desktop application and log in. Look at the top of the window and you will see several icons. You'll see an icon labeled Whiteboards. Click on that and you will have access to your Whiteboard library. Another way to access your Whiteboard library is through your NCSU Zoom online portal. If you navigate to ncsu.zoom.us and sign in with your Unity ID, you will be entered into your online portal. Once within your portal, you will find the Whiteboards option on the left side of your screen. Click on that and you will gain access again to your Whiteboard library. When you enter your Whiteboard library, you will see all Whiteboards that you have either created or those that have been shared with you. Similar to a Google Drive, it acts as a virtual folder where users' Whiteboard creations are stored. You will also see some templates you can use along the top of the page, but we'll go over those later. Along the side, you will see some filters that can control what you see. All whiteboards will show you all the whiteboards you have permission to see or whiteboards you have created yourself. Recent will show you whiteboards you recently interacted with. My whiteboards will show you whiteboards that you have created. Shared with me will show you whiteboards that others have created, but they have shared them with you. Starred are whiteboards that you have marked with a star or favorited. Trash are whiteboards that have been deleted or moved to the trash. Remember that whiteboards within the trash folder will automatically be deleted after 30 days. And last but not least, projects, which is an optional space you can use to create or access all project spaces that you can have by yourself or share with others. Now let's explore how you can share and control access to your whiteboards. Users can easily share their whiteboards directly from their whiteboard library or from within individual whiteboards. I'll show you how to do both. Simply click on the three dot icon next to a specific whiteboard while within your whiteboard library. This will open your sharing card. From here, you can specify recipients via email, define permission levels, or generate shareable links. Additionally, you can share your whiteboards from within the board itself by selecting the share button in the top right hand corner, which will open the same sharing card. Sharing configurations offer flexibility to adjust access parameters as needed. Additionally, when a whiteboard is shared, it will easily integrate into the recipient's library, which can facilitate collaboration regardless of location. Remember, you can share and open whiteboards within Zoom calls as well, although we will be going over that in another video. If you are interested in learning about how to share your whiteboards within a live Zoom call, please look at the video in the description box below. The Zoom whiteboard streamlines the management and use of digital whiteboard resources beyond live Zoom sessions. For further insights and tutorials on enhancing your Zoom whiteboard experience, check out the linked resources in the description box below.